Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a brief lesson on something called infinite solutions and no solutions. All right, so far you've learned, uh, you've been solving equations that might have one step or two steps or even multiple steps. But sometimes equations, right, might have um, unlimited number of solutions. I'm sure you can remember, you know, that famous movie, uh, Toy Story, where Buzz Lightyear would say, to infinity and beyond, right? So what that meant is as far as you can go, like unlimited, right? And then no solution means that just, it, there isn't an answer. There's, there's no solution, all right? So what you have to do is you have to be able to get to the point where you can look at, at an equation and identify, just by looking at it, which will have infinite solutions and which will have no solutions, all right? So what we're going to do is this first page, I want you to follow along with me, please. Um, and then the next page, there'll be some problems for you to try on your own. And then you can see how you did. All right. So take a look at the first problem here. And this is an example of an infinite a solution equation. All right. Where basically, remember, n is a number. So if you notice, this side of the equation equals this side. So 5n is the exact same thing as 5n over here. So no matter what n is, this side it's going to equal this side. So let's say if n was 3. Well, 5 times 3 is 15. And if n is 3 here, 5 times 3 is 15. All right, so no matter what n is, this side is going to equal this side, which means there's an infinite number of solutions. n could be a million, it could be 4 tenths, it could be a fraction, whatever you want, right? The, the number of solutions is just infinite. All right, so take a look at this equation here. Here's another example. Well, 3n plus 2 equals 3n plus 2. So let's say, for example, if we we're going to try to solve this, right, and I take away 3n from both sides, right? So notice these cancel out, and the constants are now just 2 equals 2, all right? When the constant on this side equals the constant on this side, you know that it's going to be an infinite number of solutions, all right? Um, let's say, for example, we're also going to solve it a different way. Let's say if I did this time, I took away 2 this time from both sides, right? So now we get 3n equals 3n, right? Now we're kind of like back up here, where no matter what we plug in for n, this side is going to equal this side, all right? So what are you going to see soon are problems kind of like this, where you're going to look at the equation, and you, just, you can't tell right now that the number of solutions is going to be infinite, right? Okay. So let's pretend we're going to solve this. Um, actually, let's solve it. So this would be uh, 10 plus 15n minus 4n is going to equal. Now let me simplify this here. This is going to be 11n plus 10, right? And now when I simplify this side, 15n minus 4, that's going to be 11n plus 10 equals 11n plus 10. So now notice this expression here is exactly the same as this one, which means the number of solutions is going to be infinite. All right, so that's the first type. The second type is when there's no solution. All right, this is the opposite of the first type, the infinite. All right, so this one we have 5n plus 1 equals 5n. So remember, n is going to be a number, right? So let's say, for example, if n is just the number 2, all right, if I plug in 2 here, well, 5 times 2 is 10, right, plus 1, which is 11, and this one, 5 times 2 is 10. So notice, no matter what n is, this side of the equation is going to be one more than this one, right? Let's say if n was a million, well, this would be 5 million plus 1 equals 5 million, and that's not going to work, all right? So that's an example of a no solution. So when we're trying to solve this, let's say if I take away 10n from both sides, like we're trying to solve the equation, right? So these cancel out. So now notice that 6 equals 5. And because 6 does not equal 5, that's a false statement. So we're going to say not equals. So this has no solution to it. All right. Same thing here. Let's say, for example, if I, um, instead of removing the, the 10 ends, I decide just to take away 5 from both sides. Take away 5. So now we have 10n plus 1 equals 10n 
right? And again, no matter what we do, this side, this expression is going to be one more than this expression, no matter what n equals. So this is an, another example of a no solution equation. All right. So hopefully you have an understanding of the differences between infinite solution equations and no solution equations. All right. So when you try the problems on the next page, uh, so when you pause the video, and then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right. Good luck. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, let's see how you did with these problems. Okay, so for these you had to determine uh, which of these equations had one solution, infinite solutions, or no solutions. All right, so the first one here, 4n plus 1 equals 9. Well, if I solved it, took away not 1, took away 1, and now we get 4n equals 8. All right, this one, n is going to equal 2, right? So this has a single solution. So I'm going to write single on here. A single solution. All right, number two, um, 11r equals 11r. This one is going to be infinite. Number three, 6p plus 2 equals 6p minus 2. So again, these expressions are not equal, right? So this is going to be a no solution. Uh, the fourth one, negative 2x plus 8x equals 6x. I'm going to simplify this to the 6x equals 6x, which means this is going to be infinite. All right, this one here, 1 half v equals 6. Again, if I try to solve this, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. And when I do that, I get v equals, well, 6 times 2 is 12. So that's going to be a single solution. All right. And then you had to create two equations on your own, one that had no solution and then one that had infinite solutions. So for example, a no solution one could just be n plus one equals n. And then create an equation that has infinite solutions. We could just say, I don't know, 2n equals 2n. All right, so hope you have a better understanding now of the differences between infinite solutions, no solutions, and equations that have just one solution. All right, how'd you do?